Hello everyone, Nelson here from Epicenter and welcome to another episode of Epicenter How To and today's topic is um, we're going to show you how to use the spotlight this magnifying glass right here on the upper right hand corner of your screen now a lot of people always ask me like what is this magnifying glass for? this is actually a search tool, this is a place where you can search for documents, files, application inside your computer and it's so advanced that it can also search inside a documents or even an application okay so let me just show you how it works so normally what I do with the spotlight is I use this to launch my applications I use it as an application launcher so let's say I'm gonna open the word chess so all I need to do is type in the first couple of letter of that application and it automatically shows up on my result page right here as you can see this is my chess and all I need to do is enter on press on the enter button and then it would launch that application so next time you want to launch an application you don't have to go to finder right because if you want to up, open up an application you have to go to finder you have to go to application and you have to look for that applications right here and you double click it that's kinda of a long way right so an easier way to do that is go to spotlight and type in the name of the application right here it's like let's say iWeb and there you go as you can see it shows up automatically in my results not only that uh, spotlight I use this a lot for searching a documents not just simple documents okay I could also search inside a document let me show you what I'm trying to say right here let me open my uh, pages okay my pages application which is like the word application on your PC now as you can see right now this document right here has this word it says epicenter right there I typed that in a while ago okay so you can see now I'm gonna save this it's already been saved actually so I'm gonna close this I'm gonna close pages now now what if you have a document and you forgot the title of or the file name of the documents but as long as you remember that there's a single word inside that document you could actually search for it so let me just go to spotlight right here and I'm gonna search for the word epicenter okay as you, as you can see right now it shows up a bunch of results there's like application there's like documents there's like the folders and even messages and as you can see right there uh, over here it says documents and there you go that's the document I just created a while ago so uh, I I know now that the file name of that file is classic brochure as you can see it shows you a preview of that file on the sidebar right here a preview pane so if I want to open that I can simply click on it and bam it opens the documents right away so that's how easy it is and not only that, as you can see, it shows a bunch of, of results right here. It even shows up uh, a results for the dictionary for that word. So I don't have to like uh, open up the dictionary application. I could simply search that word inside the spotlight and it shows up the meaning of that word. For example, you, you could also like uh, uh, put up a, a simple equation here. Let's try like uh, put up like a simple equation here. Now it searches, as you can see, it searches inside the application calculator it shows up the results right away so without opening the application uh, calculator you could just use that spotlight as a calculator if you want to okay so that's the use of it so other than that you could also like let's say if there are some things that you don't want to show up let's say you've created a folder but you don't want like uh, other people searching inside the documents you could opt it out or exclude particular or some folders if you want to how to do that let me show you how all you need to do is go to system preferences okay and then look for spotlight spotlight right there there you go now on here you can see you also have like drag categories to change the order in which results appear so you can basically search or what items that you want to show up on the search result page now there's an option right here that says privacy so click on that one now on here I could opt it out certain folders that I don't want to be searched to so let's say I, uh, uh, all I need to do is click on the plus sign okay and look for a folder right here let's say I don't want uh, my computer searching inside the documents folder so click on that and click on choose now that one will automatically opt it out and exclude out whenever time I search for some files or documents okay so that's the spotlight go ahead and use it up it's a really useful uh, features of your Mac computer okay use it a lot when you're opening an application and I think that should do it thank you for watching and see you next time bye